in any city, in any country. Go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the Holder of Eternity. A sigh might escape the worker as they look upon you with the utmost pity. They will take you down a flight of stairs that you might expect to lead to the basement. They don't. As you press deeper and deeper into the underbelly of the institution, you will begin to hear a chorus of screams. At first, it will be barely audible, as if originating from a point a great distance away. But as you approach the end of the hallway, the screams will grow clearer and more thunderous, until they drone so loudly as to consume all other noises. The din will quickly become so painful that you will feel the unrelenting urge to claw at your own ears to escape it. Resist this impulse. The worker, stoically enduring the cacophony, will show you a door. As swiftly as they can, they will unlock it and run, leaving you alone in this cramped, dark hallway. This will be your last chance to run. If you decide to continue, open the door. The piercing wail will then end abruptly, leaving your ears ringing. The room you will enter will be coated in an almost tangible darkness that consumes all but the far wall. Manacled to the wall is an emaciated figure covered in raw lashes. He will stare directly at you with a maniacal grin plastered to his face, seemingly undisturbed by his festering wounds and the scalpel rammed into his chest. The only way to save yourself from this man's dark designs is to ask, who created them? He will cackle in a manner befitting the death throes of an animal before responding. His will be the most horrific tale you've ever heard, beyond such primitive concepts as pain and death. It will delve deep into the very essence of evil. Those of weak mind would go mad hearing it. When he finishes, it will be up to you to release this man from his terrible burden. Remove the scalpel, and he will shudder once in agony before falling silent. Forever. That scalpel is Object 3 of 538. It is up to you if the rest should be protected or destroyed. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls herself the holder of nothing. Should a look of sheer, primal disgust mar the worker's expression, you will then be taken to a separate building, one that appears to be an old, wooden outhouse. Inside will be a seemingly endless corridor that far exceeds the length of that outhouse. The corridor will be completely silent. Attempting to make any sound at the wrong time is a grievous, lamentable mistake. You will notice the lights in the corridor getting brighter and brighter as you make your way down towards the end. Eventually, you will find yourself blinded by their brilliance. If... At any point, the lights go out. Quickly shout out, No! Stop! What you are doing is wrong! While backing away. If the lights do not come back on, bolt for the door you came in through. It should still be open. Hopefully, you aren't far enough down the hallway for it to close on you. If it does close, an eternity in hell would be preferable to what you are about to experience. If the lights come back on, continue walking down the corridor. At the end of the hall lies a cell. The worker will open this door for you while glaring at you in disgust. Inside the cell will be a mad pastiche of colors, arranged in several harlequin-like formations. You must not be distracted by them, for at the center of the room is a naked young woman, slathered in blood and bound by strips of human sinew 
and you would be better off not knowing what will happen if you take your eyes off her face for even a moment. Focus on her and ask, what were they when they were one? She will look you in the eye and speak the answer in incredible detail. It will be unlike anything you have ever heard, leaving you on the verge of both ecstasy and agony. It is not uncommon for a seeker to lose themselves in the euphoria, but you mustn't let your focus break, and you must take special care not to look upon her tattooed chest. Your mind will tempt you to gaze upon it, but you must resist, for if you fail, she will flay you alive and add your mutilated flesh to her bindings, and you will remain trapped with her, fully conscious, for the rest of time. That tattoo is Object 4 of 538. They desire to be one again, but they mustn't.